Hello, welcome to another video. Uh, this video it's about the Android, uh, Mono for Android, and they have a new component that you can plug it into your uh, project, your solution. So basically, what I did is I did a uh, view details, actually, get more components, and there's a few. The one for this video is this one, Facebook SDK. So once you click on it, you get a green button here to add to AMP to your program. I already did, so it, it, it says install. So once you do that, it will add this guy. And then as you can see here, you have the uh, component right here. Anyways, so once you have that, the first you can need well the good thing you can do about this is you can view details and it will show you some bare bone code but the best thing to do is go to samples tap and then go to the android sample once you click open you get this project remember that if you click uh, sample it will close your current project and open this sample project from Android so if you look at the UI is very basic but it has some stuff that I really like like how do you log in how can you get the access token from Facebook because a lot of people have code for posting but they don't show how you actually log in so on this video I'll just say I'll just go through the login and posting So, if you see on the create, well, before you go, let's go up. You need, before you do anything or try to run this, make sure you place your Facebook application ID here. And then you're good to go. There's nothing else that needs to be done. I already tried it and it actually works. So, here is just basic stuff like permissions. And here you're pulling your buttons into your code. And then here you're just saying click. And then this section is going to go out. Since this is to log in, it's going to call this class activity, web authorized activity. And it's going to send your application ID with the permissions. And it's going to take the user uh, to, let's see. It will take into a using a web view. Go to that code. It will go, it will use the web view. Take the user to Facebook.com, which you, allows you to enter the username and password. Then once the uh, Facebook returns the URL, as you can see here, then it's grabbing uh, the details. Go down here, as you can see, there's an access token. And returning back to your program so this is all you don't need to change anything on this on this class it's already done and so far it's working perfect so that's about it and obviously here once you click on it it will say here for posting that was the hard part logging in but here you can handle the posting and this example is just saying I'm gonna post hi that's the message but you can replace this uh, with your own message and pretty much it works so I'm gonna run my own my own sample that I did just here the same thing oops the only thing that I'm, this one is just has the login and the idea is that once you log in it will take you to to here so you can post so you cannot post unless you you actually log in. That's the only thing I did, and I'll show you what I. The only thing I did was this. So once it's, the login is true, then I take the token and pass it on to the next activity, which is the post activity. And here I grab the token because I need it. So once you click on it, I have access now to my token from the previous activity and then I can post whatever is on the text box 
So very simple. Should work. See, so login to take us to facebook.com. You see the nice uh, loading progress is showing you here. Okay, I'm gonna pause it. So now we're coming back. So, okay, we're back, and then it should take us now to the other activity, which is where you post. So, hello, once you get an alert saying that it actually worked, okay, so we're done. So remember, if you have any questions, make sure you check out the Facebook sample on Android to actually see what's going on in more details, and make sure you have your ID before you do anything else. And obviously you can add more permissions here. So thank you for watching.